So let's have a look at our patterns. So you all know by now that I love a number line. I think a number line, one of the most important things for you to be able to see in maths. Okay, makes everything make sense for me. Um, and I like to start off when I teach this concept with using a number line. So let's go and have a look. In the first question, it's asking us what is happening in this pattern? So what's the rule? What's going on? And then the next part of the question is asking us for the full series, including the next three terms. So let's go work out what's going on here. As you can see, all right, the numbers that are circled are 2, 7, 12, 17, 22, and 27. If I look at the jumps that are being made on this number line, I can see that the jumps are pretty even. All right. Another way that I can check what's happening in this number pattern is which way is my arrow moving on the number line? It's moving this way. So it's moving to the right on a number line. And we know when we've been practicing integers the last week, when you move right on the number line, you are adding. All right, so we're moving right, we are adding. Okay, now we need to go and see what's the difference between these numbers. So if I look at these numbers, I'm starting with two, I'm moving to seven, okay? If I look at two and seven, what's the difference between two and seven? The difference between two and seven is five. In other words, what must I do to two to get to seven? So I can either go and I can add it on the number line and check, or I can say to myself, seven minus two will give me five. Now I need to make sure and check. What's the difference between seven and 12? Look at that, it is five. Good, Asande, good, Tando, good, Lindo, good. Well done, guys. What's the difference between 12 and 17? It's five. Between 17 and 22, it's five. And between 22 and 27, it's five. So what's the rule that's going on here? What am I doing each time? I am adding. Five to each. And now we need to be careful because when we're doing numeric and geometric patterns, right? When we're doing number patterns, we need to be careful to make sure we're using the right terminology. Okay. So when I say adding five, I'm not just adding five to each number. If I just say each number, it's very vague. I could be talking about any number. What am I doing? I'm adding five to each, and what we call it in number patterns is term. So I'm adding five to each term. Okay, so in other words, I started at term two. I added five and I got to seven. I added five to seven and I got to 12, and so on and so on and so on. So if I do a full series, including the next three terms, well, the numbers that were circled were two, seven, 12, 17, 22, and 27. Now, the question has asked me, okay, the question has asked me to add the next three terms, everybody. So I need three more terms onto here. So I'm going to put my next three terms in a different color for you. All right. If I add 5 to 27, I'm going to get 32. If I add 5 to that, I'm going to get 37. And if I add 5 to that, I'm going to get 42. All right. So what did I do? First, I wrote the rule. Okay. What did I do? I added five to each term. Then what was the full series, including the next three terms? It was two, because that one was highlighted and circled. Seven, 12, 17, 22, 27. If I do the next three terms, it's going to give me 32, 37, 42. Let's do one more together, and then I'll answer some questions and let you try by yourself. 
So for the next one now, let's start by going and highlighting the questions. All right, or highlighting the terms first. So I'm starting with one, then they've got three, nine, and all the way to 27. Okay. So what I'm going to start with first, guys, because I can see, okay, that if I'm looking at the way that this number line is jumping, I'm seeing a small jump, then I'm seeing a slightly bigger jump, and then I'm seeing a very big jump to get to that last one. All right. Let's write out first in numbers what's happening. I've got one, three, nine, and 27. Okay, so we need to find out what is happening here. All right, how do we get from one to three? Well, to get from one to three, we could add two. So if we were adding, we could add two, but then three plus two would give me five, and I've got nine here, so that doesn't work. All right, how else can one become three? All right, I'm seeing some people talking about it in the chat here. Well done. I'm seeing some people are saying I need to times it by three. So let's go double check. One times by three gives me three. Three times by three gives me nine. And nine times by three gives me 27. So fantastic, well done guys, I'm multiplying it by three. So what's my rule gonna be? I'm going to multiply each term by three. All right. I need to get my next three terms now. So I might need to go and do some long maths on the side, some mental math sums, but let's see how I go in the meantime. So 27 times by three is gonna give me 81. 81 times by three is gonna give me 243. And who can do that last one for me? 243 times by three, what do you get? What's 243 times by three? Okay, I'm getting some different answers in the chat there. And there I'm seeing the same one I'm getting, gonna get 729. Well done, everybody, well done. All right. So I'm gonna move to these next two sums for you. Daisy. Okay, I'm going to move down to the next two sums. I see some people are still writing the one before, so I'm going to give you a little bit of time to finish that one, and then I'll move on to the next. All right, I want you to have a look at number three for me. Please do not put the answers in the chat. Do not write any of the answers in the chat. Give everybody an opportunity, okay? I am going to be answering some questions. So if you need to answer the question, please raise your hand. The first person I've got is Emmanuel. Emmanuel, how can I help? Emmanuel, you are unmuted. What is your question? <laughs> All right, so we're going to maybe come back to Emmanuel. All right. I've got Kwanda. Kwanda, it should be asking you to unmute. What is your question, Kwanda? Mama, I don't understand. Okay, which one don't you understand? Like the whole thing, ma'am. Okay, so you talk to me. Tell me, where did I lose you? Okay. Yeah, the, but the first question, ma'am. Okay, so Kwanda, the first thing I did was I went and I highlighted my numbers. Okay, Kwanda? So I highlighted 2, yes, 7, 12, 17, 22, 27. Are we good that we highlighted? Are we okay with that part? Yes, ma'am. Okay, cool. You understand why I'm highlighting them, hey? 
because they put us circle around them, hey? Kwanda, you're with me? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so I highlight to them because they have a circle around them. So they want me to see what's happening with those numbers, Kwanda. So you tell me, Kwanda, what's the difference between two and five? How do I go from, two, sorry, how do I go from two to get to seven? What must I add to two to get to seven? Two. Two, two plus two. What's two plus two, Kwanda? Oh, um, um, two, uh, three. Okay, what's three two plus, plus three? Two. Okay, but if I say two plus five. three, that's going to give me five. Good. So what number am I, am I at? Let's go see. So if I say plus three, I'm going to go one, two, three. It's not going to work, hey? What number did, how much did I add, Kwanda, to get to seven? Let's go see. Let's count together. I added. One, two, three, four. Three, four, five. Okay. So what did I do to add to two to get to seven? I got, I added five, hey? Two. No, my angel. Remember we just did it together now? Let's do it once more. Okay. So I'm at two. Here I am. I'm at two. And what did I do? Did I get... Did I add or did I subtract, Kwanda? You added. I added, good. So I'm at two. One, two, three, four, five. So what did I add to two to get to seven? Five. Five, good. So now I'm at seven. Okay. What must I add to seven to get to 12, Kwanda? Let's go count. So here I am, I'm at seven. One, two, three, four, five, hey? Five. So did I do the same thing? Did I add five again? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so what am I doing each time? I'm adding? Five. Five, hey? Okay, so I'm adding five to get each term. And then to get my next three terms, what must I do? I must add five. So I must say 27 plus five, and then 32 plus five, and then 37 plus five. Okay, does it make sense? Yes, ma'am. Okay, cool. Thank you, Fonda. All right, I am gonna move it down so you guys can see number three and you can see number four. All right, so there are quite a few people who are finished with three and four. All right, I'm going to answer another question, but if you are asking me the same question about number one, unfortunately, I'm going to ask you to go back and watch the video, right? I'm only going to be explaining things once tonight, guys. All right, just so that we can move some, through some more questions. So I've got um, in Kulalelu. Uh, hello, ma'am. Hello, how are you? I'm good, and you? I'm good, thank you. Which question do you need help with? So, ma'am, uh, as I was I logging in to the class today, my my screen is blank. I cannot see the questions. Okay, so Mr. Um, Hugo, if you write him a message in the chat, Mr. Hugo will help you with that. Another way that you can do it is you can send a message. So anybody who's struggling, who's seeing a blank screen, okay, um, anyone who's struggling with that, please, can you either message Mr. Hugo? If Mr. Hugo can't help you, what he's going to do is he's going to ask you to WhatsApp the technical help desk. Okay, I see there are a few of you who are saying that. Please make sure that you um, send a message to the technical help desk. Okay. Um, I've got Mike. Mike, how can I help you? Uh, hello, ma'am. Hello, how can I help, Mike? I don't understand. Um, how did you get from 9 to 27? Okay, how did I get from 9 to 27? Let's go have a look now, Mike. All right, so let's turn my pen back on. will help us, hey? Okay, so if I'm at... First of all, I need to look at what's happening with the first two terms. So what did I do to 1 to get to 3? Are you happy that I multiplied it by 3? 
Yes, Miss Ann. Okay. Are you happy that then I said three times three gives me nine? Yes, Miss. Okay. And then what's nine times three, Mike? Oh, it's 27. 27. You got it. Yes, Miss. Good. Well done. Okay. So I'm going to be doing the next lot of questions with you guys, and then I will come back and I will answer some questions a bit later. All right, so question number three. Okay, question number three. If we're looking at question number three, now we need to look at which way are we moving? Which way is this arrow moving? To me, I can see that this arrow is moving to the left. Okay, and we've been doing a lot of practice with integers, everybody. We've been doing loads and loads and loads of practice with integers. All right, what do we know when we move left on the number line? What happens when you move left on a number line? You tell me in the chat. Do we add or do we subtract? Good, nice. We're going to subtract. All right, so the first thing we could go and do is we could write here, subtract here. Eh? Because we know we're going to subtract. So if we were in a test or an exam, or we're feeling stressed, at least we know if we go write the word subtract, they can give us a mark. So that's really good. All right. Let's go put in the series first, and then we'll come back. So the numbers that they've given me, to me, they are starting here at 27. How do I know they're starting at 27? Okay, I know that they are starting at 27 because it's got it doesn't have an arrow pointing to it right then i'm going from 27 down to 19 and then from 19 i'm going to 11. so let's write it out i'm going 27 19 11. okay so you guys told me that i'm subtracting all right what am I subtracting each time? Well, to go from 27 to 19, I'm subtracting 8. Oh, sorry. So sorry. To go from 27 to 19, yes, I'm subtracting 8. If you're not 100% sure, can you go use your number line? Yes, you can. You can go count on your number line. To get from 19 to 11, it's also 8. So I'm going to say, I need to find the next three terms. What is 11? Minus 8. You can tell me in the chat. 11 minus 8 is 3. Great. Now we're going to get to go practice our integers. So you can either go and write your number line out and extend it to help you out. But what's 3 minus 8? 3 minus 8 will give me negative 5. Okay, how did I get that? If it was me, I would have drawn a number line. So I would have made this a bit bigger. Right, I would have said negative one, negative two, negative three, and I would have gone and subtracted that way. And finally, okay, what do I do to the last one now? So negative five minus eight will give me negative 13. Okay, if you're not sure how I got those negatives, you need to go back. You need to go have a look on Toby's website or on YouTube, okay, and go and search how to find our videos. We'll have a little look a little bit later on about how to do that, and you need to look at how to use number lines. So let's do the rule now. What are we doing? We subtract 8 from each term. Okay, subtract 8 from each term. All right. Okay, hopefully some of you got that one when you tried it by yourself. Let's try the last one. So the last one, I see that I am going to the right. So I know my numbers are getting bigger. All right. I can see that if I can see my numbers are getting bigger, I'm going two, four, eight. Then I'm going 14. And then I'm going 22. So this one's a little bit strange. Let's go write it out first. So I've got 2, 4, 8, 14, 
22. So again, the reason why we're starting with number lines, guys, is because it's a really nice way for you to be able to go and see and count on the number line how many things are missing. Okay, so between two and four, what is it? I've got one, two. So I added two. Between four and eight, what did I do? I added four. Between eight and 14 now, what did I do now? I added six, okay? Between 14 and 22, what did I do? I added eight. So be careful not always to jump to multiply. All right, be careful not to always jump to multiply. If it was um, in multiples of two, unfortunately, no, we would get the wrong answer because yes, two times two gives me four, but four times two would give me eight. So that one would be okay. Eight times two, eight times two should give you 16. And where are we sitting now on the number line? We're sitting at 14. So be careful, make sure you're going, make sure you're counting all the little things that are in between. All right, what are we doing? What are we doing? Okay, good, I'm seeing. I think you add two to the rule with each term. Fantastic, well done. So each term, my difference that I've got, I'm adding two to it. So I started with two, and then I went to four, then I went to six, then I went to eight. So two, four, six, eight. What's the next number in that series? I'm gonna get two, four, six, eight. I'm gonna get to 10, okay? So the next thing I need to do is I need to add 10. So I would have 32. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Then I need to add 12. So I would have 44. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. And then I need to add 14. So I would have 58. All right. Well done, everybody. So my rule, what am I doing each time? Okay, it's a bit of a different one. So it's a different rule. So we're going to add two to the difference between the terms. So that one's a little bit more tricky than the one we did before. We're adding two to the difference between the terms. Okay, a reminder, I will go back and I will answer any other questions a little bit later on, but we are moving on for now. Okay, we are gonna have a look at our next part here and hopefully it will start becoming um, more um, common to you once we go through it. So. So far, we've seen that there are two different kinds of patterns that we can have here, everybody. All right. So if we're looking at patterns A, okay. Pattern A, we had 5, 8, 11, 14, 17, 20. All right. It's already telling us what did we do each time. We added 3 each time. So five plus three gave you eight, eight plus three gives you 11, and 11 plus three gives you 14, 14 plus three gives me 17, 17 plus three gives me 20. All right, so let's fill in my next two terms that are missing here. I'm gonna say 20, 20 plus three will give me 23. And finally, my last term, 23 plus three gives me 20. Six. So pattern A can be formed by adding three again and again. So the difference between one term and the next is constant. So when we say the difference is the same each time, we're using the maths terms. Okay, we're saying the difference is constant. All right. When we have a constant difference, okay. The number that can be repeatedly added or subtracted to form a sequence. That's what it means when we have a constant difference. 
All right. If we have a look at pattern B, and I will make you take a nice big screenshot of these notes a little bit later on once we finish completing them. What's happening with pattern B? I've got 2, 6, 18, 54, 162. So what did I do to 2 to get to 6? I multiplied by 3. Good. What did I do to 6 to get to 18? I multiplied by 3, by 3, and by 3. So my constant here is going to be that I am multiplying by 3. All right. So if I want to go do 162 times by 3, I'm going to go do it on the side here for myself. 3 times 2 gives me 6. 3 times 6 gives me 18. 3 times 1 gives me 3 plus 1 will give me 4. So 486, well done. And then I need to go say 486 times by 3. 3 times 6 is 18. 3 times 8 is 24 plus 1 gives me 25. 3 times 4 is 12 plus 2 gives me 14. So I get 1, 4, 5, 8. So when we look at pattern B, pattern B is formed by multiplying 3 again and again. So we're going to have what we call a ratio. The ratio between one term and the next is the same, or we can say that it is constant. If we have a constant ratio, it means that the number can be repeatedly multiplied or it can be divided by to form a sequence. So I'm going to make this so that it's all on one screen for you. Perfect opportunity for you to take a screenshot. All right, so if you know how to do that, now is the time to take a nice screenshot of this note if you didn't get to write it down. Okay, it's really nice as a reminder of what is a constant difference? What is a constant ratio? How do I work out those two? All right, so Mr. Hugo has put a really nice note for you on how to do that on Windows, right? If you're using a iPad or you're using a phone, I'm sure that you know how to take a screenshot because you would do it with your, um, your phones all the time, I'm sure, all right? Okay, if you are on a MacBook Pro, I can tell you because I see somebody is asking, you hold down your command, your shift and your five key all together and that will make you take a screenshot as well. Okay, so going through it again, a constant difference is when you can add or subtract. So in the pattern that we saw, we were adding three each time. And if we have a constant ratio, what does ratio mean? Ratio means we are multiplying or dividing. So it's got a constant number that we're multiplying or dividing by. All right, hopefully you've had an opportunity to take a screenshot of that. Let's move down and let's practice these now. Okay, so I'm going to practice the first two with you like I normally do, and then I'm going to let you try on your own. So I can going to ask you at the end what kind of pattern you thought this was. Let's have a look at it. I have 3, 8, 12, 18, 23. So my numbers are getting bigger each time. If they're getting bigger each time, it must mean that I am adding. All right. What's the difference between 3 and 8? Well, we can go say 8 minus 3 will give me 5. Now we check to see, is it a constant difference or is it a constant ratio? All right. So if I have a look, 3 plus 5 gives me 8. 8 plus 5 will give me 13. So, so far, I'm all good. I've got a constant difference. 13 plus 5 gives me 18, fantastic, and 18 plus 5 gives me 23. So if I complete this, I see that I've got a constant um, difference here. So 23 plus 5 will give me 28. 28 plus 5 will give me 33. And 33 plus 5 gives me 38. 
All right. Let's try the next one together, and then I'm going to let you try by yourself. So in my next one, again, I'm going 7, 11, 15, 19, 23. So I can see that each time I am getting bigger, so I'm either going to be adding or maybe I'd be multiplying, but I'm definitely getting bigger. So first we try and see whether we've got a constant difference or a constant. So we try to see if we've got a constant difference, apologies. So if we go say, what did we do to seven to get to 11? You can draw yourself a number line or you can say 11 minus seven and that gives me four. What did I do to 11 to get to 15? I added four. What did I do to 15 to get to 19? I added four. And finally, what did I do to 19 to get to 23? I added four. So now I can see that I've definitely got a constant difference. So 23 plus four gives me 27. 27 plus four gives me 31. And luckily for us for this one, they only wanted two missing terms. So I want you to go ahead and I want you to try number three and number four by yourself. I'm going to answer three questions and then we're going to see what your answers were and we're going to carry on. So the first person that I have here is Muko. What's your question? Muko, you are unmuted. Do you have a question for me? Um, Ma'am, um, I didn't understand um, pattern A up there. Pattern A. Okay, hopefully you guys have got this written down. I'm just going to move up for Muko. Okay, so what is what are you not sure of, Muko? Talk to me. About how you got the answers. Okay, so Muko, what do you do to five to get to eight? What's the difference between five and eight? You plus three. I plus three, good. How do I get from eight to 11? What must I add from eight to get to 11? Plus three. Plus three. What do I do to 11 to get to 14? Plus three. Plus three. Good. So what am I doing each time, Mako? Plus Plusing three. Plusing three. So what's 20 plus three? 23. And what's 23 plus three? 26. Okay. Does it make sense? Yes, ma'am. Okay, good. Thank you, Mako. All right, so a reminder that I'm only going to be answering questions once on the same question. So if you have the same question, I'm going to ask you to go back and watch the video. So I've got um, Kemal. I'm not sure if I'm saying that correctly, but you are unmuted. Hi, ma'am. Hi, how can I help? Ma'am, um, sometimes I struggle with multiplication. Okay, so if you are struggling with multiplication, what I would really suggest you do is, are you um, a member of Watobi? Are you a Toby member? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so if you go onto Watobi's website, you know where you can find out um, where you get your links for the lessons and all of that? All of the <laughs> videos for the previous lessons are on the website. Otherwise, if you go onto YouTube, and Mr. Hugo did put the link for YouTube much earlier on in the chat, and I'm sure if he gets a chance again, or if I get a chance, I'll put the link on YouTube for you. But what you do is you go onto YouTube, you search for Watobi, okay? And you go and you have a look for the grade seven lessons, all right? In one of those mm -hmm. lessons, okay, there was a whole lesson that we did right at the beginning of the year, and it was on multiplying. It was a really, really good lesson. Okay, so you can see Mr. Hugo, he's put, um, a link there for you about the previous lessons. Go back, watch that lesson, make sure you get that lesson down, okay? Otherwise, in the next few weeks, we're going to be doing Beat the Basics classes, and we'll go over it then again, okay? Yes, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Okay, you're welcome. All right, I'm going to answer one more question. Unati? Ma'am, sorry, ma'am. Hello, ma'am. Um, Hello, ma'am. How can I help you, Unati? Um, ma'am, I can't see the street the screen you can't see the screen did you ask mr hugo to help you in the chat okay i seem to have lost unati so i'm going to ask one more question uh zibu you are unmuted what's your question zibu 
Okay, I'm gonna try again. Bibo, you are unmuted. What's your question? Ma'am? Yes, how can I help? Ma'am, I don't understand number two. How how can you get 27, ma'am? Okay, you tell me, Zubu, what do I do? If I say 23, what's 23 plus four? What's three plus four? What's what's three plus four, Zibu? Seven. Seven, Seven good. So 23 plus four will give me 27. Yes, ma'am. Okay, and then I'm gonna say, what's 27 plus four? So I can go use my fingers, 28, 29, 50, 51. That's another way of doing uh, this. Okay, I'm, that's it. Okay, so what are you doing each time? You're plusing four. All right, so again, a reminder, if I'm not getting to all your questions, please make sure that you're asking Hugo in the chat. All right, you can't just write that you don't understand. You need to say what you don't understand. All right, let's do number three. So number three, I had 1,4, 1 1.4, 1 1.9, 2.4, 3.4, 3.9. So who can tell me? I see people are putting the answers. Fantastic, you're putting the right answers. But what did you need to do each time to get the next number? What do you need to do each time to get the next number? What can you do? All right. What am I adding to get the number? Good. Alicia, good. You are adding 0, 0,5. All right. You are adding 0, 0,5. So 2,9 plus 0, 0, 0,5 will give you. 3,4 plus 0, 0,5 will give me 3,9. All right, plus 0, 0,5 will give me 4,4. 4. All right, next one, we're having a look. I've got 16, then I've got 15,6, then I've got 15,2, then I've got 14,8. So I can see that what's happening each time, I'm getting smaller. So what am I doing? I am subtracting, good. Um, I see a Yema is writing there, good. I'm subtracting 0, 0,4, fantastic. So 14,8 minus 0, 0,4 is gonna give me 14,4, minus 0, 0,4 gives me 14, minus 0, 0,4 gives me 13, comma. Six. Well done, guys. Well done. Very, very good. Okay, so those ones were tricky. Well done for those ones. Let's have a look at our next few. Okay. So I'm going to do the first two with you. Let's have a look at the first two. I've got, so I can tell you already that these ones are going to have a common ratio. And when we're seeing ratio, we see times or divide. So 3, 6, 12, 24, 48. So I really see Katlejo's got the right answer already. She's saying, what do we do each time? We multiplying by 2. Good. So 48 times 2 will give me 96. 96 times by 2 will give me 192. And 192 times by two will give me 384. All right, very, very good, well done. Okay, moving on to the next one. I'm missing the first number. Then I've got 10, 50, 250, missing, missing, 31250. So what did I do to 10 to get it to 50? I times it by five, 250 times by five, will get, or 50 times by five gives me 250. Good, so I'm multiplying by five. So to get my first number, what am I gonna say? I'm gonna say the opposite, 10 divided by five is gonna give me two, all right? If I do 250 times by five, guys, what do I get? I get 1,200. And 50, 
What's 1,250 times by five? Who can tell us in the chat? Fastest finger first, let's see. 1,250 times by five. Good. 6,250 and lucky for us, they've done the big one last. Nice and easy, okay? 6,250 times by five gives you 31,250. All right, number seven, I'm going to do with you because we're running short on time here. I see I've got 150,000. So I have the number 15 and I've got four zeros. Then I've got the number 15 and I've got three zeros. Then I've got the number 15 and two zeros. Then I've got the number 15 and one zero. So what am I doing each time? I am dividing by 10, good. So if I take 150 and I take away a zero, it's going to give me 15. And if I divide that by 10, it's going to give me 1, 5. All right. And the last one together, 4 times by what gives me 12? 12, 12 times by what gives me 36? Yo, Alicia, you are on fire. We are multiplying by 3. Well done. So 4 times 3 gives you 12. 12 times 3 gives you 36. 36 times 3, what are we going to get if we do 36 times 3, everybody? 1 or 8, fantastic. 1 or 8 times by 3 will give me 324. And 324 times by 3, oh, I'm going to go do some multiplication here. 3 times 4 gives me 12. 3 times 2 gives me 6 plus 1 is 7, and 3 times 3 gives me 9. So I get 972. All right. Make sure you've got those down. Take a screenshot, okay? Make sure that you've got them down. Take a screenshot. Make sure that you understand what did we do in the last one. We were multiplying by 3 each time. So 4 times 3 gave me 12. 12 times 3 gave me 36. 36 times 3 gives me 1 or 8. I'm multiplying by 3. Okay, well done, everybody. We are on fire tonight. All right. Okay, last question. All right, last question for tonight. It says, complete these weird patterns. So let's finish off with some weird ones. All right, let's finish off with some weird ones. So let's go check, because they're telling us they're weird, let's go have a look at why they're weird. All right, so what am I doing to get from five to seven? In other words, what's seven minus five? I'm gonna say plus two, good. What about seven to get to 10? plus three, 10 to get to 14, plus four, plus five, and then plus six. All right, so what am I gonna get to my next number? What am I gonna get to add to 25 to get to my next number? I'm gonna plus seven. So 25 plus seven gives me 32. Then what must I do? I must plus, Eight. 32 plus 8 will give me 40. Okay, let's have a look at the next one. All right. On the bottom, I've got 99.84. So I'm subtracting. 99 minus 84 gives me minus 15. 84 minus 71 gives me minus 13, 71 minus 60 gives me minus 11, okay, minus 11, uh, sorry, 60 minus 51 gives me minus 9. So what's the next thing I need to do? I need to minus 7. So 51 minus 7 will give me 44. And then what do I need to do? I need to minus 8. 44 minus 8 will give me 
36. Okay, so we're minusing two from the rule each time. Well done, Kitlejo. Very, very good. Well done. Last one for tonight. I have one, four, nine, 16, 25. Before I even go and start adding or subtracting things, those numbers should start looking very familiar with you from the beginning of this term. One of the first topics we did at the beginning of this term. Fantastic. I'm seeing Lorona. Well done. There are square numbers. Okay, good. Tandor, square numbers. Good. So one squared gives me one. Two squared gives me four. Three squared gives me nine. Four squared gives me 16. Five squared gives me 25. Six squared will give me 36. And seven squared gives me 49. Okay, I am going to answer two questions from the chat. All right, and then we are going to be finishing our lesson for this evening. Mr. Hugo is going to put up the poll for you so that you can get the poll. I'm hoping Mr. Hugo is still here. He might not be still here. Oh, he is. Thank you, Mr. Hugo. So Mr. Hugo has put the poll up for you. If you can please answer the poll while I answer some questions. So Christina, you are unmuted. What's your question? Um, my, well, it's already a question about the one which we did before, like question number four. I got very confused with that. Question number four, Christina, the one with the decimals. Yes. Okay, Christina, so the best way I can say to do that is to say to yourself, well, I've got 16. So I've got 16, okay, and I'm going to subtract 15. Oh dear, my pen's going a bit flat here, so let's just start again. I've got 16, and I want to subtract 15, 6. So Christina, you tell me, what do I need to do? Do you agree I need to put a comma up here and put a zero? Yes. All right, now I'm going to go do a soldier sum. So. 0 minus 6, I can't do that. So I cross out the 6, I make him a 5, and I make that 10. Hey? Yes. 10 minus 6 gives me 4. I put my comma. 5 minus 5 gives me 0, and 1 minus 5 gives me 0. So what did I minus from 16 to get to 15, 6? I minus 0, 4. Oh, OK. Thank you. Does it make sense? You're welcome, yes. Christina. Thank you. I'm going to answer one more question. For those of you whose questions I don't get to, guys, please, please, please put your questions in the chat and we will start with our next lesson with your questions. So please make sure do not send me a direct message, okay, because I will not be able to see those when I log out of the chat. I need you to put them in the chat. All right, Tandeka, how can I help you? Hi, ma'am. Hi. What's your question? Ma'am, I don't understand everything because I, I got it like two minutes ago. So, Tandeka, a really good idea is for you to go and watch this lesson tomorrow. It will be on YouTube and it will be on Watobi's website. All right, so go back, watch the lesson from the start, go through it. We went through it really slowly and you'll be able to catch on, okay? Thank you, ma'am. You're welcome. Link is Thank in you, the Tandeka. Chat. All right, Mr. Hugo has put the link in the chat to the YouTube for you. Thank you, Mr. Hugo. Right, Amor, this is my last question for tonight. Amor, how can I help you? Amor, it should be asking you to unmute your screen, Amor. Okay, Amor seems to have gone. Awongwe, Awongwe, your chat should be asking you to unmute. What is your question? Uh, ma'am, I have. Hi, ma'am. First, hi. Hi. Ma'am, I have a question on ma'am the like previous one, ma'am. If you could like scroll down, because sure. ma'am, there's something that I'm confused about. No, well, sure. Which number is that one? No, ma'am. Like scroll up. Up. Okay. Yes, which one? You tell me when to start. Man, that one. Man, this one. This one, yeah. Okay, cool. Yes, Amal, what's wrong? What's up? Ma'am, I'm confused with 
that like how ma'am did we like jump from 22 to all the way to 32 44 50 and that's it how did we get there yes ma'am. okay amor so let's go see so what did we do to get from two to four we added two hey happy with that yes ma'am to get from four to eight what did we do to get from four to eight we added four four what do you do to get from eight to sixty to fourteen? What must you add? Six. What about fourteen to twenty-two? You add eight. Eight, hey? So what am I doing? Two, four, six, eight. All right. So what do I need to add next? Um ma'am, ten. Good. I need to add ten. So if I say 22 plus 10, what do I get? I get 32, Two. okay? Yes, All right. So two, four, six, eight. We went and we added 10. So what must I do next? I must add 12. Oh, what? Yes, ma'am. 32 plus 12 will give me 44. Two, four, yeah. six, eight, 10, 12. What must I add next? Um, I must add 14, hey? 14. Yes, ma'am. Good. So 44 plus 14 will give me 58. Does it make oh, sense? I, yes, ma'am. Okay. So that's the way you do it. Thank you, ma'am. All right. You're welcome.